Sometimes uh, when things don't go well, you can easily get burnt out and you can just have uh, the feeling that you just don't want to swim or stuff like that. Take the time for yourself to feel ready and prepared. Uh, my journey on swim was kind of difficult. Like I, my parents were not really into video games. It's like uh, they were kind of against it. I just started to play league. After some time, I just decided that I wanted to just do something with league. I just wanted to maybe like to become a player or a pro player, something like that. I was lucky enough that Fnatic contacted me. I think it was like two years ago now for the Fnatic Network. After one year, I got offered to sign as a content creator and sign like in the, in the main team of Fnatic. I would say I was quite lucky, but I think I did what was needed. Like I just streamed a lot. I was live almost every day. If I could, I was just live. Since I joined Fnatic, like since the network, I had a really nice opportunity to grow myself and uh, help Fnatic in the French scene. I'm really lucky to be there. I basically like stream every day, at least six hours a day. And when I'm not streaming, I'm trying to do some other stuff. Like I, it's kind of meme again, but it's like Pokemon Go when I'm just like going outside to, to chill. So we have the chance to be in a small village so I can just like go outside. There is a forest and stuff like that, so. Hard for people to understand how it is as a streamer's perspective to like, go live on a daily basis. I don't know if you have a bad day or a bad week or even a bad month or, or some bad period. It's kind of hard to go on stream and kind of act like everything is going fine. I try to be myself as much as possible on stream. So when I'm feeling sad or that something is happening in life and I just I don't know, in a bad mood. It's kind of hard to go on stream and just be funny and uh, entertaining for people. Like people will obviously look at everything you do and be like, uh, yeah, okay, so he's in a bad mood or stuff like that. Like it was hard to deal with because I'm always trying to be the best version of myself on stream. And when you see less people on your stream or less subs or anything, you can feel like that you are doing something wrong and it can impact your mindset. And I think one of the struggles I have is that I'm really transparent. I'm speaking a lot about what happened for me in life, like in the past. When you are transparent like that on stream, uh, you are really vulnerable because people can just attack you from every side, like uh, everything you say can be used to just attack you on socials and stuff like that. So it's hard sometimes, but I try to just focus on what is going uh, well and I try to just um, be myself. And I feel like uh, it's important to just do what you like, uh, be who you are and uh, you can't really get liked by everyone. I'm just fine doing what I do, being myself. And if people don't like me, it's fine. If you don't really take the time to, I don't know, get rid of the bad mood and stuff like that, you can easily get burnt out and you can just have uh, the feeling that you just don't want to swim or stuff like that. So I guess it's important to just feel good every day and take the time for yourself to feel ready and prepared. Usually when I stream for a long period of time, like the next day I'm off or I just take time for myself. Usually I just relax. I take a bath and I, I try to just take time for myself and uh, get a bit outside and uh, outside of internet and the PC.
when I got announced to Fnatic, like Fnatic sent me, like it's just there, but a huge Shrek and uh, yeah, you, you want me to? Yeah. <laughs> so Fnatic sent me like this when I got announced. So I have my my Shrek buddy with me on stream every day. Yeah, I guess I would just <laughs> put that back. But my community, um, I guess they are really nice people and really generous. Since I'm streaming a lot, people are. Um, they are really supportive. Like some people that have been in my chat for like five years. It's quite something to have like people following your journey through everything because streaming is a difficult journey, if I can say so. Yeah, I, I guess they are funny and kind of crazy like me in a way. Yeah, I guess I have a really, really generous community and really supportive like everything I do. I always have like my community in the back just cheering for me. So it's amazing. So, uh, hello, Javi. So I had you last year on the Robalas show, so I know you personally, but for everyone in the chat and in YouTube later on. Uh, can you... uh, the show was nice. Uh, I think Javi is a nice guest. Like I had him last year on the show as well. Uh, I think when it comes to guests, players are a bit shy. And when it comes to the staff, like Dardo or Yamato or stuff like that, they are used to talk a bit more. So they are not shy and they go deep into questions and answers. So, so yeah, it was a, a long day. We started filming at like 10 a.m. And it's like, I think 8 p.m. right now, something like that. So yeah, it's a long day. I guess when uh, everyone is uh, out and uh, I'm done uh, for the day, we'll probably just go and take a bath and chill out, chill out and before going to sleep because we are shooting again tomorrow. And, uh, and yeah, we'll probably just be in bath and uh, use the, the gift from the L'Oreal package they sent me because like I have legit a, a huge package. I will profit tonight and try some stuff that I saw on the box. Okay, so like this is my, my L'Oreal bus setup. Here everything in the back. Just chilling in bus after stream. Let's go. Yeah, I had a chance to get all of the products you see behind me. And uh, I didn't got yet the chance to try everything. But I'm looking forward to try like everything I can. Yeah, this morning I took the time to, to prepare myself for the shoot and stuff. And uh, I had the opportunity to speak to someone from L'Oreal this morning. And uh, she told me like uh, to put the eye roll on on the fridge so that it cools the little ball there is on it. And uh, I definitely need to try it. So like uh, for the other duo stream, it can help me like be giga clean on stream. I usually come here to play some basketball. So it's a nice place, I just chill here. Either it's uh, solo or with some people that are already playing. Uh, I usually meet some viewers as well. Uh, I find it kind of important to not mainly do sports, but just do something else on stream and just to think about something else, go outside, uh, watch some stuff. Just take time for yourself because you can easily get burnt out. You need to, to feel good, feel prepared. Uh, either it's before or after stream, it's like it helps me to, to just relax and get prepared for stream. Then I go home and uh, luckily I have like L'Oréal main expert that sent me a, a nice package from them sponsoring the Robalas show. I can just like use some deodorant, some stuff like that and uh, get prepared for stream. And uh, either it's me launching the stream like the Robalas show on the night or uh, just like prepare for stream the next day and just be chill. Yeah, being a streamer is like nice. I feel like I have a lot of luck. Uh, I kind of flipped my life, uh, dropping from everything I was doing to start stream. My main focus was not to stream, it was just to do something with League. Uh, League was my passion. I think streaming became my passion more than League. Because when you stream a lot of League of Legends, you kind of lose the, the passion you have because it's kind of hard to have control of your stream and stuff like that. <laughs> ooh, 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 triple A, ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, 
I, I think it's like a huge luck to be a streamer because a small amount of streamers really make their life out of it. And I have a, a lot of luck, especially since I, I joined Fnatic. Like when you, you join a, a structure, you have like a, a, a nice backup that helps you feel relaxed because you, you, see, you know that you, you have them in the back, you can just do your thing, do your stream. And uh, I don't know, I feel really lucky and uh, I'm just trying to do my best every day so that the, the luck continues uh, as much as possible. Yeah, I'm fine. I need, I could do some shoots as well, so it's fine. <laughs> I did my sports of the day. You have it, Martino? On camera? You, you, did you get it? Oh my... And now I won't put it back in. <laughs>